everybody, Silas back again. I just got done filming a really, really cool collection of stuff in Minden, Nebraska. Uh, you guys will have seen that video quite a while before this video posts. Uh, I was just driving through this little town. I'm not even sure what town this is. I think Franklin was the name. I'm not even sure. But there was an old jet, a tank, and some sort of personnel carrier, so I thought I'd stop and check it out. Now, it is pretty windy, uh, so be aware that the audio may be a little bit dryly. I'll try to do the best I can, but we're just going to stop at different places everywhere I go. If I see something interesting, we're going to pop the camera out. That's what adventure is all about sometimes, is just on a road trip, you just stop and look at stuff. And you can really find a lot of fun adventures when you do it like that. Right here we have a Lockheed 4 F-80, not a 480, a P-80 T-33 shooting star. Pretty cool piece. I really like that. That's a neat thing. I'd like to have an airplane like that for my place, just, just because. <laughs> Obviously, I can never afford something like that more than likely, but if I can find any old airplane just to stick out there in the trees, that'd be really cool. I'm not entirely sure what model it is, but you don't see old tanks very often, especially in the middle of nowhere in Nebraska. This is a memorial, I believe, for various wars, World War I, II, Korea, Vietnam, Franklin County. here's an armored personnel carrier. Really interesting things. That's one thing I've never owned is military equipment like tanks and things like that. Never had one. Now that's a big one there. That's a big boy. You never see them up close and personal like this until you're right next to one. They're massive. The tracks on this thing are up to my shoulders. It's absolutely huge. I can't imagine driving one of these things around. But I'm gonna hop back in the truck now. We're gonna head out and we'll see what else we can find. said Coronado Heights. We found a place called Coronado Heights. It's like a castle on top of a hill or something like that. It says it's open until 10 o'clock. It's not that late right now. So we're going to go check it out. And we finally found it. This place is pretty cool. Going off a sign we saw that said Coronado Heights and heard something about a castle up here. So we thought we'd come check it out and it was definitely worth the trip. This is pretty cool. I have not been up in here yet. So uh, we're gonna go up here together and check it out. See what we can find. This is really interesting. It is super, super windy up here on top of this hill. This is one of the highest points probably in Kansas. Maybe not, I don't know, but it's way higher than everything around here. So. Uh, the wind is just ripping and roaring through here, so when I'm actually outside in the wind, I won't be able to record much because the audio won't be very good, but we'll see what we can do in here. I don't know anything about this thing. I don't know what the deal on it is, why it's here. It says it's registered on the National Register of Historic Places in the United States, so uh, I have no clue what this is, who built it, when, why, anything. Definitely interesting, that's for sure. Got some sort of concrete picnic tables in here. Fireplace, that looks like evidently people use it. So that's interesting. It's got all these little windows around it. I'm not sure. This would be a neat place to have a picnic. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere though.
It definitely has a castle vibe to it. I can imagine just having a, a banquet feast in here or something like that. It's kind of neat. This is really cool. Everything echoes, it feels, and it sounds like a castle even. I mean, it obviously is a castle. Just really, really curious. I don't know, understand the, the purpose of it. I mean, it's up here on top of this really tall hill, so you can see for a long ways around. So it is a good place for a castle, but I just don't understand who or why they built a castle in Kansas. Here's a stairway here, so we'll take it and see where it goes. Definitely gotta watch your head. Bunk your head on one of these stones, that'll hurt. Oh wow, quite the view. It's gonna get windy, so I probably won't be able to do any talking, but check this out. That's pretty cool. You can see for miles and miles. It's a little bit dusty and hazy today because of the wind it looks like, but you can still see for a long ways out there. I don't know how many miles that is, but that's gotta be every bit of 15, 20 miles. Gonna get windy again, but check this view out. This is absolutely beautiful. As soon as I poke this up over this, you're gonna see it absolutely beautiful i can see maybe 15 miles that direction you can see for probably i don't even know how many miles this direction but just look at this The sign up on top over there said 1936, so I don't know if this was built in 1936, kind of like a, a, a tourist place or what it was. I know back in those days they built a lot of things, like they built Mount Rushmore and just uh, different things like that just to give people something to do during the Great Depression. Uh, so maybe this was something related to that. Maybe this was like a, the government building things and like they did back then. Okay, so I did some research on this place and the reason why it's called Coronado Heights is in around 1915. A uh, researcher found some Spanish chain mail, chain mail if I can talk right, in this area. And uh, they never found it anywhere further west of here. So they believe this is where Francisco Coronado gave up his search for the city of gold. And so they called it Coronado Heights. And there's, I guess, seven of these little bluffs like this in this area. And these are pretty high, big old bumps on the scene of Kansas. You guys know Kansas is pretty flat. And so they called it Coronado Heights. They did build this structure in 1936 just to resemble a castle, I guess just for fun and uh, just to make it more of a scenic place. People had been coming up here for you know, 10, 15 years at that point in time, and so they built this up here as a scenic place for people to go. Then over the years, people have, they've added a few things here and there to it, but uh, the basic structure was built in 1936, so uh, nobody built this castle. Francisco did not build this castle, but they, they do believe that this is around where he stopped searching for the city of gold and gave up and went home. There's a picnic area over here with an outdoor fireplace. That's kind of neat. I just wish it wasn't quite so windy up here. It is brutally windy. Looks like a, another little outdoor fireplace over there. We'll go check that out. Looks like some more things over there, some blocks of stone or something. I'm not sure what those are. Maybe more. Oh, those are all fireplaces all along there. Yeah, we'll go check that out. And there's another little building over here. So we'll go see what all this stuff is. building behind me is El Baño. That's the bathroom. I kind of got to go, but it smells so horrible in there. It smells like a bathroom that's been cooking out in 101 degree weather. So uh, we're not going in there, but there's a nice little nature trail right down here. So that's where we're going to go. This is pretty cool, like a little hiking trail of some sort. Maybe we can get down here out of the wind a little bit. I'm definitely going to have to bring the wife and kids back here. This is a pretty cool place. 
definitely got to watch your step up here though a lot of ankle busters this is a definite adventure made from scratch here this is a spur of the moment we were just looking for cool stuff to film and here we are my cameraman is up there taking pictures he loves taking pictures and my main camera is pretty much dead both batteries are so he's using his camera to take some pictures so uh, I'm checking things out look at this view right here absolutely spectacular view this would be a really nice place to come like in the spring or the fall when it's not 101 degrees and not blowing wind look at that view I don't know how far this trail goes or where it goes I don't want to get too far away bunches of sandstone it's weird how all the sandstone just kind of appeared in the middle of nowhere right here in Kansas makes you wonder how it got here through the ages lots of graffiti if you will scratch on graffiti check out all these ferns and moss and stuff there are just tons of trails that go all the way down all the way through here I don't have enough time to search them all today I'm definitely gonna have to come back when it's a little bit cooler this looks like an absolutely fascinating place. So if you're ever just traveling down the highway and you want to check out something interesting and you like to go hiking and just seeing interesting places that aren't really tourist traps, then uh, this is definitely a place to check out because this is definitely not a tourist trap. There's nothing here to buy. If you do like to travel places like this that are kind of middle of nowhere, I recommend you buy a collapsible toilet, portable toilet. Uh, it comes with little bags. Way better to use one of those than it is to use a bathroom like that up there definitely way better I'm gonna have to go back up here now go back up here in the wind so it's gonna get really windy again but I'm gonna see if I can find my cameraman and see where he's at it's probably a really bad idea but I'm gonna go get my drone and uh, it's super windy so it's definitely not a good idea to fly that thing but I have flown it in worse winds than this and I was when we were still in Nebraska earlier today I was flying it and uh, it was having a few issues it was getting a little bit warm on the motors because it was having to fight the wind pretty hard but uh, I'm gonna try it anyway I'm gonna get it out take it up on the roof see if I can fly it and get a nice scenic shot of the whole place Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to come back here. I tried to get some drone shots and I got some pretty cool shots, but unfortunately it's just so windy I can't do some of the things I wanted to do. Like I wanted to fly my drone through one of these windows up above. I thought that'd be really cool. And there's a lot of neat things I could do and take some of these hiking trails around when I got more time, got water with me. But uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this out here. This is just a fun little adventure. We're not too far from home, about an hour away from home still, but uh, we're kind of in a hurry now to get home. So probably won't have time to stop again. But this is just a fun little adventure, impromptu, finding an adventure, just what this channel is all about. Uh, 
this is literally a found adventure. This was not planned out way in advance or nothing like that. That was just a kind of a spur of the moment thing. I really enjoyed it. Definitely a very cool place. Definitely going to come back. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Just kind of a quick, fun video. I know I do mainly car stuff and junkyard stuff and things like that, but uh, every now and then I like to take a break and I like to bring you guys along with me. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and pack up my gear and make the trip back down the, uh, the hill. I was going to say the mountain, but it's not really a mountain. Uh, make my trip back down the hill, get back on the highway, and hightail it home. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and remember to get out there and find an adventure, even if you got to take some back roads to find it. We'll see you next time.